Hi folks and welcome to the Ultimate Light Source part number three. In the previous parts we actually started building the enclosure and I have it right here and meanwhile I've painted it and now we go into assemble leveling together and we'll see if it's going to work or not. So we're going to do a trial run and check the light and see how much light we get out of the solution. Now when I did initially the enclosure in part number two um, there was a bit of a problem, as you might remember, when we were mounting the ring from our softbox. Now this ring is typically the ring uh, from bronc color, but you could have another one. We could stick it in, and then you could see we had play on it. Now to fix that, uh, I had to create a back plate, and this is the back plate, uh, and, then, and it goes in like so, and I have spacers that I will put in between in such a way that the keys that you have here, these keys, are caught and so I don't have the play anymore. So that's one of the things I had to create and I have it built already and you can see that more in detail here. And I had to create this back plate anyhow because uh, I had to mount the cooling uh, element. Huh? This is the cooling element and that had to be mounted on the back plate and you can see if you look close enough how I welded that in. Now you can do it with bolts as well, I just spot welded it because that was the easiest and the fastest way for me to do it. Right, so now we need to start assembling it. Now, when I was working on this enclosure, I realized that, yeah, there's a bit of a problem because how will I put it on a tripod, you know? Somehow we have to be able to mount this box on a tripod. So I built a little bracket a pivoting point and it's nothing special really um, it is just a few pieces of metal that I bended and and a bolt let me show you if I can get it apart there we go so two pieces of metal that we bended I placed a bolt through it and I spot welded the bolt so it cannot turn but you don't have to and then I used an old piece uh, of a uh, tripod and I welded it in to another piece of metal. So now I can stick it like so. And so we have a big washer and I have a nut and I can tie it. And now actually I can have an adjustment. Uh, so see, this goes in like this. And then I can fit the box on top of it. And now I can turn it in all kind of directions. So let me put that one together first, because that's the first thing uh, we're going to put together. So the pivoting point. So here's the pivoting point, and I'm just going to bolt it down. And again, guys, this is not very complicated to build. Right, so that's it. And with this uh, screw, loosening it up, I can pivot it in all directions. So I can actually guide the softbox wherever it has to go. So we can mount the box now onto a tripod. And now I can actually, you know, tilt it back and up, as you can see, and hold it in place huh, with the screw. There we go. So that's the intent of this. The next thing we're going to mount is the fan. And the fan will go in here. And we're gonna make sure that the fan is actually sucking in air into the enclosure. So the fan will come from underneath and air will go into the enclosure like that. And then it comes out on the top. If you look on a fan, you will always see a marker on it in which direction the air is flowing. Okay, we've got the fan mounted and it turns freely as you can see. So now it's time to um, start working on the actual cooling element and mounting the LED onto the cooling element. I know I still have two screws to be put in, 
people uh, do that later, so I don't occupy all your time. So this is the cooling element, which we mounted already on the back plate. And now it's time to mount the LED onto this surface. So therefore, we'll have to do a couple of things. First of all, remove the protective part. We don't need this anymore. And then we get the support case for that LED. And then we'll bolt the LED onto it. And then we start mounting the lenses. Now, before I'm gonna put this on, I'm going to put some silicon uh, heat conducting uh, paste on it. So we conduct the heat properly from the mounting piece and the LED, which is here, onto the cooling element. Those of you who have worked with transistors before and high power amplifiers, they know exactly uh, what this is about. Uh, but this really helps a lot. So let me do that. This comes in different flavors, guys. So you can get, you can get this in tubes and you can get it in pots. You can get it in different things. All right, so let's place it on there. Making sure we got it in the right spot. And then we're going to take the LED so the LED has a plus and a minus because LED stands for light emitting diode. So we'll have to um, solder on a negative wire and a positive wire to these two uh, little pieces of copper. And we'll do that uh, very shortly. I'm also will put a little bit of um, this uh, cooling paste on here. A little bit help. And then we'll stick in the LED. There we go. Now I have some small screws that will hold the LED in place. So we got the LED now and the next thing to do is to mount all the mirrors and the glasses. I can't do that right now because first I need to put on the uh, cabling the wires. So we have the LED mounted onto the uh, cooling element and the cooling element is mounted onto the back plate. And now we need to connect the power supply to the LED. Now the LED has two copper areas, this little patch here, which is the minus, which is the cathode and the anode, the positive side. So now we have to solder the power supply or the wires onto those two uh, contact points. And we're going to do this um, with good quality silicon based cable. Red will be positive and black will be negative. So let us do that first. And now we need to connect it to these uh, points and those we want to pre-tin as well. Now, I'm going to use a um, flux, which improves the flow of the solder, of the tin. There we go. And now we can actually put the wires up. Now we put the mirror up. We put the lens up. And a bracket to hold the lens in place. Here we go. We've got the lens in place and now we can continue uh, fixing the backplate into the enclosure.
All right, guys, you've seen me assembling the light source. Uh, you've seen me putting up the, the cooling element um, and the LED, the back plate and all this. And I've shown that many times. And this is my adapter ring that I just pushed on. And now you can see, see, this is how it goes on and off very easily. As easy as on a normal uh, light from brown color, but your fitting might be a bit different. And now it's kind of solid. I can adjust it back and forth with this pivoting uh, like we made. I haven't put the cover on yet, that's for later. Um, and I still have to hook up the fan, but I'm having um, a little adjustable power supply here. And I just wanna show you uh, how good uh, this light will work or maybe it won't work. So let's try it out and see. Uh, I'm just gonna crank up the voltage a bit here. So. Need some more power. There we go. It's pretty bright, all right. So I have 2.35 volts. So this is how bright this is really is, guys. This is bright, as you can tell. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna dim it. And now we can actually um, Fix the fan and uh, do some light measurements. There's a bit of smoke coming out, but that's coming from the paste that I put up, uh, the cooling paste, because this is getting warm and that's going to be like this in the beginning, but after a while it's gone. Um, so uh, I still have to hook up the fan and I still need to put the enclosure up, but that's easy. That's just a couple of screws and we should be good to go. And then we should have a fantastic light source and we can measure it out in the studio. Hi folks, we have come to the end of building the ultimate light source. So uh, let's have a bit of a closer look up and then see what else we're going to do with it in one of the next videos. So let's have a look. So folks, this is it. Uh, you've seen how we built the ultimate light source. Um, you've seen how we made the enclosure. You've seen how we mounted the cooling element, how we mounted the LED onto it, the power supply, the lenses, all that, and the adaptation rings for the soft boxes. Of course, what you need to adjust for your own type of soft boxes. So here it is at the end our ultimate light source and we can turn it around and do whatever we want to do with it. We can tilt it because we made a pivoting point, that's like so. You know, that's the kind of stuff you really want in your studio. So I'm kind of done, but in the next video I will actually test the light source in a studio. We'll check the light density, we'll check the light color and all those things. And for that, I am not going to use the lab power supply, but I'm going to get a proper power supply to do that because I can't drag this around everywhere. Of course, I could modify it to make it a portable um, uh, power supply, but I want to get a real LED power source. And uh, I'll show you that in another video on how you can build that or you can just buy it online. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you built one as well and how happy you are with it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year because you won't see me anymore this year with any more lights or builds or constructions as we've done because we've completed it. And after the new year, we'll be working on a studio test with the Ultimate Light Source.